Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing the bookshelf book tag. Um, if you see me look down, because I wrote down the questions, since most of the time I'm recording with my phone, and so I can't just like have my phone in my hand and be like looking at it and whatnot. So let's get started. There's a total about like, I guess I would say like 11 questions and two are kind of like telling you something to, no, three of them or like, yeah, three are telling you to do something. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Uh, number one, how many bookshelves do you have? I only have one. Uh, how many books are on your bookshelf or how many books do you have? I have about like 130. So I have a lot and that number is gonna be, it's like gonna be growing since I keep getting like in more and more and more books. So uh, how do you organize your books? I really don't organize them really. I mean, I think I should, but I mean, I just throw them up there. I mean, the only ones that are kind of like organized are like the religious ones and then like the one like anxiety related and stuff. <laughs> um, what is the oldest book on your shelf? I actually have two, and they belonged to my uh, grandfather. Uh, Ghost of Padre Island and Homecoming, or The Homecoming, I should say. Um, what is the newest book on your shelf? I mean, I got a lot of new books lately, but if I have to, to kind of pinpoint... Uh, it would be these two I got from my friend. Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell. And The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. So, I'm excited to read those. All right, let's see here. What is the longest book on your shelf? I would have to say The Children of Blood and Bone. So, uh, what is the shortest book you own? Uh, shortest book I own is Bridge to Terabithia, which I read back, like, I want to say middle school. And what I like about my copy that I have is that, like, it has questions, like, li literature circle questions to ask yourself and answer and stuff to see if you really kind of, like, soaked in basically, like, the whole story i even seen the uh movie for that and it's a little sad the book is a little sad too but what is the predominant genre of your shelf i would like to say i have a mixed genre of books on my shelf i have met like health books i have religious books books you know dealing with like anxiety why a uh horror and etc. I have a lot. It's mixed. Um, have you done a bookshelf tour? Yes, I have. Uh, I will link that down below. Um, go on a random number generator and talk about that book that corresponds with that number. And I had done this before, like I said, since I record on my phone, I did it before I started recording and I got number 95, which is Hocus Pocus in the all new sequel. I've seen a lot of people stating that they hated it and whatnot, but I have to say I liked it. It kind of, uh, you kind of knew with the way the story ended to begin with the original one that it, there was going to be another one, to be honest with you. I mean, but uh, this one here, this copy that I have, has both the original and the new one. So it's like a two-part um, book. And I have to say, I, like, love it. Like, this much of it is part one. And then this is part two, sort of, they're about, well, no, part two is a little bit longer, but 
I have to say, I love this book and I will find myself picking this up again, being that I am extremely obsessed with Hocus Pocus. If you know me in our life and we're like really good friends, you know that I'm obsessed with Hocus Pocus and, and also all things spooky. So, uh, do you have any fan merchandise or any other decorations on your bookshelf? Okay, nope to the fan merchandise. I would like to hope that one day I will get that far enough to be able to create merchandise for my fans on my channel. But right now, no. I do have uh, decoration stuff. I have some uh, anime characters and candles. My daughter made that sign thingy. Uh, I borrowed that from her until I could find something to put my, you know, hold my all my bookmarks in and stuff. Um, I keep my regular camera here that I'm hoping to be able to use, you know. <sighs> oh, and also some genre makeup. I got one makeup book, basically, and it's a Bobby Brown. Um, let's see here. Show your bookshelf. Let's see if I can see. You got all of that. Uh. <laughs> um, and then tag someone to do this tag. All right. Um, I tag uh for booking out loud. Hey, y'all, listen up. Uh, lost in a bookcase. Just the Book Freak and Aramus. I'm hoping I'm saying your channel name right. But uh, I tag you guys and I cannot wait to uh, watch y'all's video. I will see if I could tag them down in the description box down below. Um, but we'll see how that works since I'm still kind of new at, do, you know, doing all this newer stuff. Um, but uh, if you liked this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you already haven't hit that notification bell and i'll see y'all next time bye you guys